What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some new face palettes and this just hit me that I have so many new face palettes in my collection so I wanted to compare them, talk notes about them and overall give you all a little bit more insight about them because it seems to me that this is the newest trend in the beauty industry and whenever a trend hits and everybody seems to like it we're only going to get more so these are some of the newest ones that i have in my collection some of them are just face palettes and some of them are eye and face palettes in combination let's go ahead and chat and this is in no particular order so first i want to talk to you all about the danessa myricks light work volume 3 infinite light palette and i have this palette on my eyes right now and on my cheeks and I just have to say that it is absolutely stunning so here's what the palette looks like I love the packaging I think it's really pretty and it stands out it's a larger palette and this is one of the palettes that's a combination of eyes and cheek products per the description it says this is an all-over face multi-use palette and it is curated with 14 out of this world galactical shades and multiple mesmerizing finishes holographic powders duochrome gels pressed glitter powder creams and multi-chrome pigments if you all have not gotten a chance to see or check out this palette and you like anything remotely dealing with duochrome shades then I don't know what you've been sleeping on but you need to wake up because this palette is absolutely stunning and the shades selected for this palette are indeed otherworldly I love these colors her formulation is absolutely amazing on top of that so I think this palette is gorgeous for those of you all who like jewel tones for those of you all who like multi-chrome shades I think this palette is just beautiful and this palette to me is the best of both worlds because it definitely gives me the vibe of an indie brand and something that they would launch but also we have the insight of a professional makeup artist which is Danessa Myricks and she added that expertise into this palette so this is a very sophisticated approach to duochrome multi-chrome products and I love the configuration of the palette and with this palette I think the layout of it just makes sense so I can see myself doing so many different looks with this palette and being happy every single time because this look that I did today it took me like 10 minutes and with shades like this sometimes you have fallout sometimes they're a little bit drier but not with these everything that I used was beautiful it blended out beautifully and I just think if you're a person who likes color or if you're getting this as a gift for somebody that likes color they're 100% gonna be happy with this the quality is fantastic love that one that one is definitely a five out of five palette for me the suku powder blush compact 103 is another stunner i love the sleekness of their packaging and how it is compact so if you need to travel with this it is perfect and i love suku's formulation and every one of their products that i've ever tried including their blush products and i think this one is another banger so i actually have on a blush from this palette today and i just love how this palette is a silent killer you put it on and it's deadly you didn't know that you were gonna love it that much but then you do because the formulation of these powders is just impeccable they're super smooth they glide on they build up and they just suit so many different looks and complexions so I'm a huge fan of Suku's products I think this palette will be beautiful and it gives you such a nice range to mix and match and you can customize your look as you see fit the tones are so complementary to a variety of complexions so whether you have a lighter complexion or a deeper complexion or if you're medium complexed like me you can get in where you fit in with this palette and you can find a blush color to go with almost any look so I love the versatility of this one so for me this palette is a four and a half out of five the only reason it doesn't get five out of five is that I think this shade right here is very sheer and light and I don't think that it will suit as many people as it would have if it were a little bit deeper to fit the tones of these but it's almost there and you can layer it from rose palette which I think this palette is really beautiful and this one was a little bit of a shocker for me because I just thought this was going to be a run-of-the-mill rose palette that I was just gonna be like whatever about but then when I saw it in person I'm like wait a minute 
that's kind of pretty. This one fits into this category of being a face slash eye palette, even though I would say it's more primarily an eye palette. I love the tones in here. They're very beautiful and you can create a variety of looks with this palette as well. I have everything that I need to do to do multiple eye looks. This one has gorgeous shimmering shades, a variety of matte shades, and then if you want to, you can dip into the bronzer and the blush and you can create a beautiful look all the way around. But for me, what brings this palette it down a notch it's this is bronzer because I think the bronzer is a little bit too warm so if they had gone with something a little bit more neutral I think it would fit more people and for me I wear the shade saddle and the individual shade saddle is not as warm as this one so I'm really confused as to why they made this one so red so because of that this palette is a strong three out of five stars and I still recommend it I still really like it but I do think that this blush shade here is a little bit light to work on a variety of people especially considering the tones that they selected for the eyeshadows and then the bronzer is the weakest link and it's making the palette look just overall warm and so I'm not really feeling that. I would have preferred if they just would have cut the face portion of this palette off because I feel like it's dragging down the aesthetic of this palette and it would have been better without it. We have the two Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palettes. I have the light one and the dark one. But for this video, I'm going to be rating these as two individual palettes, not comparing them because I've already done that. Make sure you check out that video if you have not already. So let's start off with the light palette. I love the packaging. I love how sleek it is. I actually used one of the shades from this palette today as my transition shade colors. That's a little extra boop for you palette so <laughs> here we go I love the configuration of this palette and I love that the cheek palettes are separated by this top and then we have the eyeshadows down here the organizer freaking me just lives for that detail I think that is so good because then I don't have to worry about getting my eyeshadows and my cheek products or getting my cheek products and my eyeshadows like I just don't like all that so to have that I see you, I like that. Eyeshadows, love them. The only eyeshadow in this palette that I just don't really rock with as a transition shade is the shade label transition shade. But I would 100% wear this as a lid shade and I think it would be beautiful. The cream blush in here is a little bit light, but to be fair, this is the light palette, so that's to be expected. And then the highlighter in here, the Star Glow, I think is really beautiful, but again, it's a little bit too light for me. But that does not take away the fact that it looks pretty and that it works. So I'm not going to deduct points because something that is labeled light doesn't work for me as a medium dark person. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, as a person right in the middle, I can use the light one or I can use the dark one. I like the eyeshadows on my complexion. The cheek products don't really do a lot for me because they're really not intended for me. I can wear them, but they're like, eh, you know. I do think that on a light complexion, that would be stunning. I think this palette is a solid four out of five. And I'm giving this palette that rating because of the transition shade. I think it's a little bit too peachy. If it had been more neutral, then this palette would have scored a 5 out of 5. Because for lighter complected people, I think it would be perfect had it not had that peachy transition tone. Personal opinion. The deep version of the Glam Face palette. Love the packaging. Super pretty. Again, similar configuration. I talked about in my dedicated video for these palettes that the eyeshadows in the deeper glam face palette are not in the same order as the lighter ones. I'm gonna let it go. Um, <laughs> let's talk about these eyeshadows. I think these eyeshadows are really beautiful and rich. So I think that somebody who has a deeper complexion would really enjoy them. And on my complexion, I think these cheek products work beautifully. So in my opinion, I think they could have gone deeper for this to be the deep face palette because these work really well on me and that's not to say that they won't work on somebody who has a deeper complexion they absolutely will it's just if they work perfectly on me somebody who has a deeper complexion probably would benefit from something being a little bit deeper and I think that she went a little bit too warm with the deep version for as neutral as the light version is I would love to see a neutral version that's not warm toned browns in a palette with deeper tones I think that's something that we haven't seen so for that I think this palette is is four stars still because it's a beautiful palette but there are different things that I would change to it to make it perfect but I do like it both of these palettes rate the same to me because I like them the same again I have a set from a different brand so these are the blush palettes from Pat McGrath and these aren't labeled light and deep per se but when you see them it's kind of obvious that one is for lighter complexions and one is for deeper complexions so here we go this one is Galactic Sun and this palette has re 
promotes in it. So none of these shades are new. The first blush is Divine Rose. We have Desert Orchid and we have Golden Nectar. So if you've purchased her individual blushes and highlighters, then you don't need to have this. But if you're a person who travels, then this is perfect because you can just throw it in the bag and go and it already has all the products that you need. Two blushes and a highlighter. What I love most about this is the convenience of it all and it has a little mirror. So if you're a person who's on the go, needs to do a little boop boop on your cheeks and touch up, you can. Plus it has that really pretty design. I'm a sucker for the design element. You gotta make it pretty to make me interested. But <laughs> I love the formulation of this palette. I think it was very well done. I also did a video overviewing these two palettes alongside the other holiday products that she launched. And I went into detail about the similarities and differences of the already existing blushes and highlighters in her line and then this. So there are some differences there, so check out that video. But I really like these tones. They work well for me. I really, really love a muted blush because I think they just work with all of my face looks. I have on a blush shade that's similar to this right now and I'm a person who doesn't really like a super strong blush color because I like my eyes to take the front seat or my lips to take the front seat. These type tones just take a back seat and let, you know, the rest of my makeup do the talking. So I like this configuration a lot. So for me, this is a strong five out of five. I would buy this again, even though I already have the individual blushes because it's convenient, like I said. And you know, as we're traveling for the holidays, if you're traveling for the holidays, you can just throw this in the bag and go. You don't even have to worry about it breaking because I think this is pretty sturdy, you know? Put it inside your makeup bag, I think you're good to go. So I love this. And then we have Amber Allure, which this one to me is the deeper of the two. So we have a new shade in here, Love Struck. So we have two repromotes and a new shade, so I like that. With these two colors, these are not colors that I wear all the time, just because I think they are so bold and vibrant. Even though this formulation can be gently built up, especially if you use a brush like the Sonia G Soft Cheek Brush, you just dip into it lightly and it hovers over your cheeks, so it's not going to apply really opaquely. But still, these blushes are a little bit darker for me, and it's not really my personal makeup style. I think the quality is there and I like the fact that you have a new blush in here. So this rating is based pretty much on my personal style. I'm gonna give it a four out of five just because I don't feel like it works with my makeup aura. But quality wise, it's five out of five. It's just me and dark blushes just really aren't a thing. So I have one more and this one is the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. I must say, Packaging is a five out of five. I love this. It stands out. I love the shade. I love the tape. It's just fun. And this is what I feel like has been missing from makeup all year. I don't feel like anybody really gave us anything to look at when it came to packaging with the exception of a few items. But this was one of the ones that came through and gave us something fun because as a person who has, I don't know how much makeup I have, I need something that's gonna incentivize me to use it, so it's gotta be pretty, and this is pretty. And then when you open it up, oh my gosh, do you all see that the blushes have the same design? It is so gorgeous. So this is a powder gelé formula. So it's a baked formula, it feels really soft, and I know a lot of people complain about this type of formulation because it's notoriously a bit difficult to pick up with a brush. So I advise you all to get a brush that can go toe to toe with this blush formulation. The Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush is perfection because it's gonna pick up that color and deposit it like a boss, okay? You do not have to worry about this brush not picking up that color. You want to get a brush that's dense enough to be able to pick up that color and deposit it so it can't be flimsy and it can't be too firm because you don't want to make it hard panned. It has to be the perfect brush. This is the perfect brush. This one is a natural hair undyed brush. It just picks up that product and applies it like nobody's business. So make it your business to invest in your brushes to be able to work with formulations like this because it's not just NARS that has formulas like this. This is a formulation that has been very popular for the past few years. So to have a brush that can work with it is essential to it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this too. And if you have that, I think you would like this formulation because it is so pretty and it's so soft and it's buildable. If you're a person who does not like soft blushes, you like something that's way more intense, then I would say go for a traditional powder because that's where you're gonna get the most intensity. But if you're like me, you like to build up your blush and you like softer colors, this one is gorgeous, plus it's packaging. 
So for me, I'm gonna give this one a solid four out of five. And that is because the formulation is not the easiest to deal with. I know how to work it. So it can get a five out of five just because if you give me any type of hesitancy, I'm gonna look at you side eyes, but I know how to deal with you. So I'm gonna take my side eye back a little bit and deal with you accordingly, okay? But I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous. And I think a lot of people will enjoy this because just look at the tones. Love it. Hi there, it's Kelsey from the future. I know I look a little bit different than I did from the other parts of the video. And that's because I just remembered that I didn't talk about the face palette, the Patrick Ta palette. And what is a face video right now without this palette? So I had to come back in and chat about it. I had it ready to go on the desk, but my desk is a bit overloaded right now, so I didn't see it. So we're doing it. So dare I say the Patrick Ta palette is the face palette right now. This went in and out of stock so many times during the Sephora sale and arguably this is the most popular product of the season and I think it's for good reason. I think it's fun. I love the combination of the cream and the powder products. My cream lid broke off. Um, I need to fix it to where I can leave it on there but I haven't got a chance to do it because I'm busy. But I love the cream and the powder versions of products and it lets you layer and make it as sheer or as intense as you want. So I think that's really fun. I think the colors in here are really poppy and fun and they'll work on a variety of complexions. These are not colors that I typically would select for my blush just because this pink right here is so vibrant. This right here in the middle is fun but this is not something that I would wear all the time. And then these two colors on the end are a little bit dark for me. So what I did was use the cream version right here of this blush and then layer it with the powder light pink blush to make it a little bit more wearable for my complexion just because there's not really a middle range here of shades that aren't super poppy but that's not to say that the formulation of this palette isn't beautiful because I think it is I think it works well the cream products blend well the powder products have a really beautiful finish and they blend out really nicely I just hope he comes out with a more melon orangey kind of version of it and not necessarily the pink poppy colors and this dark color so personally I'm gonna give this a four out of five I think it's pretty but it's not within my scale of blushes that I would consider my tones that I reach for love the idea but I want more colors bye back to the original video <laughs> And that's all folks. I hope that you all enjoyed me rating my face and my face and eye palettes. And I think more companies are going to come out with even more so. I'm loving them. Once upon a time, I wasn't the biggest fan of face and eye palettes, but they're growing more on me, especially if they're done well. If you don't have to think about what type cheek products you're gonna use with your eye products, and it's just there for your convenience, you really can't beat that. I love all these palettes. They pretty much all got my stamp of approval and they all score well so let me know which one is your favorite down below I really don't know which one is my favorite it's so hard to pick <sighs> I know you're twisting my arm you're like Kelsey pick a favorite okay if I have to pick I'm gonna say the Danessa palette just because it's so different but if I'm looking at what am I gonna use the most I think I'll reach for this NARS palette because I almost always do and I use their cheek palettes far after the holiday season, but I'm gonna use all of these products. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. I will have links to all of these products down in the description box. So if you do choose to shop through my links, I receive a small commission. It costs you nothing if you're gonna make a purchase of any of these products, but it helps to support the Kale Bell community. And I invest that money right back into this channel. So thank you all so much in advance for your support. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to become a Kale Bell become a cowbell, do it before the end of the year. It's very important. And I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.